Hey guys, welcome to Epic Study Studios. So this is our first video on the topic Classic Science Chapter 1 Food Where does it come from? NCRTE. This is basically an introduction video. In this video, I will make sure that you are connected to the theme of the chapter. So first we'll look what we are going to study in this chapter. So in this chapter we are going to study food material and sources, omnivores, carnivores and herbivores and characteristic of these animals which, which I normally talked about now. Also we are going to talk about some milk products. These are, you only, only need to learn about these as only these will be coming in your exams. Now I will tell you only a little thing about these because this is an introduction video not a full fledged video. In the coming lectures I will tell you in brief about them. So what is food? Food is basically an energy giving thing which gives us energy to sustain life. Food is needed by all living beings for four main purposes. First one is for their growth which is proteins basically. Second one is to provide energy for doing work which is carbohydrates and fats. Third one is for the repair and replacement of the damaged tissues which is basically vitamins and minerals and roughage. And the fourth one is to provide resistance and protection against diseases from infection. This is also vitamins and minerals. So I will tell you about what proteins and what proteins and all the five ingredients make sure. So as we talked about proteins make sure that there is growth in our body. It's the building blocks of our body. Second, carbohydrates and fats make sure that there is very and very much energy for our body to sustain life and do works. We always do, we are continuously doing work whether it's of office or school, anything. Third one is vitamins, minerals, water and roughage. So now water is, as you know, it's also the live, it's also very important part. We cannot live without water. Whenever we need water, our body gives us a message by making our throat thirsty. Roughage. Roughage is basically sludge which, will, which helps us to absorb all the nutrients from our food that we are eating. And the next one is vitamins and minerals which we basically get in vegetables and fruits which help us very much to protect resistance and protection against diseases from infections. Now I am going to talk about omnivores, carnivores and herbivores. So as we all know that omnivores are the animals which can eat both plants and animals which means they are combination of carnivores and herbivores you will understand only more, more when i talk about carnivores and herbivores so carnivores now i'm going to the next which is carnivores so carnivores are animals which only eat flesh they eat nothing else because their only food which can they can eat is flesh and the last category is of herbivores which only eats plant. They are the food source of carnivores and plant is the main source of these herbivores. Plants, grass, big trees and their leaves are the basic source of herbivores. And now characteristic of these animals. As we know that there is adaptation which means that in whichever surrounding we are living irrespective of how much it is cold or how much it is warm here like Sahara Desert in our Antarctica the animals there have, they have adapted themselves. For example if we take a camel and a polar bear a camel is adapted to live with many days and many weeks 
leaks without water and it has very thick foot and long legs which help it to keep its body away from the heat which is absorbed by the sand during the day the characteristic of camel now we are going to look about them of a polar bear so we all know that a polar bear lives in extreme cold climate which forces it to have a very thick fur so that it gives us it heat now the second one is oh sorry now the second the last topic or the second topic which we are going to talk about is milk products so as we all know that there are some milk products which we eat daily milk is the basic product and it has its subdivisions also which is curd and many more things so this is all that we are going to look in this chapter hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also share so that your friends can also benefit from it thank you we i will meet you in the next video until then goodbye